the topic i'll discuss with you that is the external view of human heart heart is a pumping organ hollow muscular organ that goes into systole and diastole means continuous contraction and relaxation to spread the blood in the different organs here for you i have drawn the external feature of human heart on the board you just see it minutely and try to draw it in your copy when the school will reopen i will see all these class work online class work in the copy with proper date here see first which one is my left and right hand side accordingly i have pointed out which one is the left which one is right so see i am standing in front of the board so this is my left hand side and this is right hand side the heart here i have drawn into four chambers where this one is the left so this one is a left auricle or left atrium and below it is left ventricle similarly in my right hand side right hand side right atrium and right ventricle so this this is just the opposite of yours with behind this camera so see don't miss out don't uh, label wrongly why you are marking the left and right because in heart we are having four chambers you know this is the right auricle of mine so right side right auricle just below it right ventricle as you can see in the board left auricle then left below it left ventricle from the right ventricle see one blood vessel is passing and bifurcated into two different sides this is known as this is known as uh, pulmonary artery it has moved into the left hand side so it is left pulmonary artery this one right pulmonary artery so from the from the right ventricle blood vessel which is passing towards the pulmonary means lung it is the pulmonary artery bifurcated one has gone to the left hand side so it is left pulmonary artery one has gone into the right hand side so it is right pulmonary artery right blood vessels which is pass giving the blood or nourishing the heart itself that is known as coronary artery so this is serving or nourishing the left hand side of the heart so this left coronary artery this is right hand side so this is right coronary artery i have marked it orange chalk this one is the aorta aorta is originated from the left ventricle and encircling the heart like this way and passing from the back of the heart and through dorsal aorta in the name of dorsal aorta it is going to the different parts of the body so aorta is moving like this way from the back side of the heart and then again passing from the dorsal aorta this one this narrow blood vessel is the superior vena cava bottom part this inferior vena cava draining the deoxygenated blood from the upper and the lower part of the body to the right atrium so right atrium is collecting the deoxygenated blood from the different parts of our body so superior means from the upper side all the deoxygenated blood is passing or draining through the superior vena cava into the right atrium same way from the inferior vena cava the deoxygenated blood from the lower part of our body is passing through or draining into this right 
atrium only, not in the right ventricle. It is opening over here. Then when the blood, when the heart contacts the full deoxygenated blood from the right atrium goes to the right ventricle. From right ventricle pass to through this pulmonary artery to the lung for purification. After purification, it comes back into the left atrium. From left atrium, it goes into the left ventricle. From left ventricle, it moves through this aorta, ultimately pass through the dorsal aorta to the different parts of the body. This is just the external view. When I will show you the internal view, it will be more clear to you. Thank you, boys.